And you know, while we're talking about Irv Gotti and Ja Rule, I want to talk about this album here. Ja Rule's debut album, Vinny Vinny Vici. And this was actually one of my favorite albums, believe it or not, from two, from 1999. See, a lot of people didn't like Rule, actually, man. They like they thought he was like a poor man's DMX. And he was always playing the third fiddle to Jay-Z and DMX's stardom. Because Jay-Z and DMX, they were crossing into mega stardom around 98, 99 when Jay dropped Hard Not Life and when X dropped two home runs in one year. So, with this situation now, we see Ja Rule trying to cur- carve his own niche. He dropped the joint, holla, holla. And it was fire. I like the production of it. I like the whole Brazilian beach feel that they had for it. They had the fine women up there. I was thinking, okay, Ja, ja Ru may got something. Now, you know, we heard Ja Ru on a couple songs already, but this was the first solo joint that I was really introduced to. Along with this, I got a story to tell. So I buy the album. And he had some joints up there, man. He got some dope shit. The intro, the world most dangerous, and he used that beat for loose change when he was dissing 50 and Eminem. Fire. Then you got the songs that he did with X and J, and the best song up there, of course, no question, it's Murder with Jay-Z and DMX. One of the hardest joints in 1999, actually. So he put Story to Tell up there. And my other favorite song from Ja Rule, man, is Race Against Time. In my race against time, I can't stop. It is time to live my life. It is too hot. You can tell he kind of studied that from DMX a little bit. But he was coming at his own. Then he did the uh, Suicide Freestyle, which he used the R. Kelly joint. And, you know, he did a freestyle over that. Another joint, joke, dope joint he did with uh, Eric Sermon, which is E-Dub and Ja. Eric Sermon was on there. This joint had a lot of hitters, man. Murder for Life with Bleak. And I love the last song. Because one thing about that production on this shit is fire. It's grimy. And this was Murder, Inc.'s perfect introduction into hip-hop. Because this was actually their first release, to my understanding. Now, this joint here was going to be compatible to Rockefeller and the Rough Rise. So now you had three... Big movements coming out of Death Jam and out of New York City as well. Origin within the same time period. That's how big and special hip-hop was at this time. And it all was organically. But Vini Vini Vici was a dope album, man. People will be surprised what I said. You know, because I've said a lot of things about Jai in the past that all that singing stuff, I wasn't really feeling. I wasn't really a Jai fan, but this joint here... This joint here was fire. This joint was fire. I can't front on it. And it was the start of more hits to come. So, let me know what you guys think of this album, man. Vini Vini Vici, holla back.